Hello, girlfriends. Welcome back to Claire Bank Style, where we talk about luxury, fashion, travel, and all of those girly things. So today we're talking about Remova luggage. And this is the only luggage I use. I get a ton of questions on this every time I travel and post it on my stories on Instagram and stuff. So many people want to know about this luggage. It is spelt with a W, but it is pronounced with a V because it's actually a German name and they kind of crisscross the pronunciation. W's are pronounced like V's and V's are pronounced like W's. So the proper pronunciation is Remova. And I have one trunk two of the large checked ones, one medium checked one, and four cabin size. So I do have a lot of suitcases or pieces of luggage from Remova. And there's a big reason for that. I will continue to only probably buy them forever because I've tried everything else and nothing even compares. So obviously I like this, but I am gonna go through some of the cons and kind of tell you about those. Okay, so all of my Remova suitcases are the polycarbonate, which is like the ballistic plastic, which is extremely durable, flexible. I've never had any like dents. I've never had any like deep cuts or scrapes or anything like that. Just kind of some surface level scratches, but nothing like where it's been dug into or punctured or anything like that. I had to me before I had before I finally switched to Remova and it was extremely heavy even when empty. The wheels were tiny and hard to roll around. It was like a floral like kind of plasticky like sticker over the like fiberglass body and something had scratched it and the whole like floral print just started peeling away, which was really ghetto. So I was with someone at the time and he had a Remova and I just saw how durable and how incredible it was. And like literally it would always close no matter how overstuffed it was, no matter how many things of mine I asked him to put in his suitcase because I couldn't get my suitcase closed, his would still close. So in my experience, I also tried like the, the cheap luggage, you know, you can go to just, I got luggage, Samsonite luggage from Costco. I got five different brands from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and things like that. I got this Lucas brand. I got Traveler Pro or something like that. It's supposedly what the flight attendants use and just everything fell apart, felt wheels fell off, things like that. It just, it just never lasted. And I ended up spending so much money on cheap luggage that I thought, okay, I'm finally just gonna get expensive luggage and hope for the best. And so the first set that I bought was my two large green ones and my cabin, which is like the carry on size. And as you can see, these are still in, I mean, incredible condition. So there's nothing wrong with any of them. And I've had this set since 2019. I've never had a single problem except for the dividers. So I will get to that in a little bit. But let me just continue. So one thing I get asked about these suitcases is, are mine the aluminum ones or the polycarbonate ones? Which I already just told you. The reason I don't get the aluminum ones, and I've never had one, so I can't actually speak to my experience, but these are the cons that I have heard when doing my research. So I wanna pass them along to you. First is that they are heavier while they're empty, even though they're a lightweight metal, they are heavier. So you can get less stuff in for the same exact, you know, size. And the other major con with the metal or aluminum Remova suitcases is that when they do get dinged and dented, they can actually dent into sharp points that will scratch you, cut you, etc. So that was just like a no for me. I definitely didn't want that. And then they also have a style that's like the polycarbonate with the corners are metal and Again, I've heard bad things like those little metal plates kind of pop off. I've never had any problems with my corners. So I don't think that that's a necessary attribute. I've never had a corner collapse in on these suitcases, but I have on many other suitcases. So these are, are just my favorite style and they work really, really well for me. 
The obvious pros would be that they're super lightweight. The wheels roll so incredibly well. Uh, the retractable handle has so many different heights that you can move it to. I mean, I don't know how many, but almost every half inch, I would say you could adjust it. So if you are shorter and you're rolling it flat, you don't have to have your hand all the way up here. You can literally just have it like right down here. Because honestly, when I want to adjust my handle height when I'm rolling it based on the bag that I have. So I made a big mistake with my on the go, my original canvas monogram Louis Vuitton on the go, which is why they ended up losing it. And I stretched those long canvas ham handles over the retractable handle and it ended up damaging my handbag because it was being stretched over. So like when I'm traveling with a Birkin or even another like expensive bag or handles that just don't stretch, don't aren't long enough to like go over the handle, then you can just lower that retractable handle to be the exact same height as your handbag. So you can hold the handbag and the suitcase at the same time and roll it without your bag falling off or without damaging the handles of your bag. So that's a really key thing. I also love that you can kind of put them back to back and roll them so I can easily roll four suitcases by myself. I have done five. It's a lot trickier, but I have done it. Overpacker. Overpacker, I told you. <laughs> Don't judge me. But yeah, so they're real easy to roll like that. If you do notice that they start to catch on one another because you change directions or because you're holding the handles by the poles and not by the extender handles, it's super easy. Just wiggle them apart, realign the wheels so that they're kind of tucked under and facing forward right next to each other and push forward, not diagonal. And they fit a ton. I mean, they always close. You really are going to, you really think that they're not going to close and they do somehow, some way they always close. They're also really easy to clean. So, you know, if you get these scuffs or scratches on it during travel, super, super easy to clean off. You can see me right here cleaning them. Um, they do look really, really scuffed up, but I wanted to demonstrate how easy they are to clean. So I gave all of my suitcases kind of a shine up. So you can see the before here. So, so bad. And the after here, so much better so much cleaner they almost look good as new so that's a huge plus really easy to clean and i would say uh, another huge plus is all of the fun colors i obviously love color if you're not new to my channel then you know that if you are new hi i forgot to say this but um please subscribe welcome everyone <laughs> if you're not already please subscribe and just take like two seconds right now to like this video if you're finding it helpful at all oh so back to what i was saying about the color is that i like to match my outfits to my carry-on. So I have more of most of the cabin slash carry-on because if I'm wearing pink, like I wanna wear the pink one. If I'm wearing green, I wanna wear the green one. Now I have lilac and light blue. So it's it gives me just so many more options to carry different tote bags that I have that I wanna travel with and kind of make a full total look. So I really enjoy that. And oh, th this is so important too. The other great thing about the colors other than just like vanity and me wanting to match all the time is they're so easy to spot. When you have like this bright green suitcase or the pink one, or I don't usually check the cabins, but when I do, they're so easy to spot on the conveyor belt. I am never that one who is looking at all the tags on every bag because they all look the same. When I got those Costco Samsonite ones, I cannot even tell you how many times I grabbed someone else's bag off of the conveyor belt because they were everywhere. I mean, everyone had the same exact luggage. It was like dark gray and everyone shops at Costco because it was a good deal. I digress. The other features I just want to point out are kind of how to open and close them. So this is pretty standard for all of them. They just have these two zippers. They have these little leather tabs in the back of the suitcase on the, or on the spine rather. And you just kind of unzip it like this. I like to 
stand it up on the spine and unzip it and let it just kind of fall open. I think that that's better than laying it on one side, unzipping it and then trying to use the screen to like hold it and flip it open that way. It's just a lot better to just do it on the spine and let both sides kind of fall open. Then it has this three digit TSA compliant combination lock, which is really easy to set. All you have to do to set it is just push it up when it's already unlocked, change the numbers and then release. I also really love that you can lock the suitcase when the code is not on. So the zippers will always go in to lock, even if it's not on the combination, which saves a lot of time when you're in the airport. You don't have to sit there and like do the combination, make sure it's right and then lock it and then mess it up. You just zip it and close it no matter what the combination is on. And then it's actually pretty easy to get into them if you somehow accidentally change the lock and aren't aware of it. So I had an experience where I accidentally changed the lock and didn't know how to get into it. And I reached out to my sales associate and they told me this kind of quick little hack. And all you do is you need like a pair of pliers or, or I guess you could use like a butter knife or something like that to pry it open, but I had pliers. And so all you do is open the little hook right here that holds the zipper. So you can just take the tab, the zipper tab, the metal tab off of the actual physical zipper and then unzip it that way. And the other way that you can do it is to just like put a screwdriver in the lock and just kind of, you know, break it like that. Those can be fixed super easily by just taking them into the store and they will like fix it right there on the spot really quickly. The things that they cannot fix or the the cons, I would say, the biggest con of this suitcase is it has these little dividers, which you saw. They have a plastic frame in them and this frame can break. And I've broken a few of them. And I, when you break them, you can't just go into the Remova store and be like, here, swap it out and give me a new one. They have to like take it and send it in and then send it back and it's annoying. I don't remember what the repair fee is. I will try to look it up and insert it here or in the description box before this goes live. So these screens occasionally break and they only really break when I've tried to fasten the screen too tightly. So I've pulled it too tightly and then it like snaps. So if you don't overstuff it, if it's, you know, it's not really like user error, then they don't really ever break. My exes who had the Remova suitcases never once broke the screen. However, one of the one time the wheels, uh, one of the wheels popped off, like we picked it up at baggage claim and it was missing a wheel. So in that case, if you register your suitcase online with them after you purchase it, it does have a five year warranty. So uh, some things aren't covered, but the screens, the wheels, things like that are pretty much covered. Um, it's kind of a case by case basis, but I've never had a problem. So make sure that you register it online. And the other cool thing about Remova is that they've actually partnered with a bunch of luxury hotels. So if something happens when you are traveling, which you would be with luggage, then they will actually come to your hotel or they might actually have someone on staff that's trained to fix it and they'll fix your luggage while at your hotel. So you don't even have to take it anywhere, which is really, really great. Another thing to know about Remova, which I didn't know until recently, is I was looking everywhere for the lilac, the, the lavender cabin which was basically sold out everywhere, sold out online. It was sold out in all the stores. And I walked in to the Las Vegas boutique and there was a woman there that was like packing the lilac cabin up and like putting her things in it and attaching her little tag. And then like she was leaving, like she had just bought the last one. And I was like, I'm actually looking for that. He's like, oh, that's actually our last one. And I'm like, <laughs> like so annoyed and he's like we could try to call the other stores in in town I was like mm -hmm, yeah please do yeah and so he calls and he's like well there's one at the crystal store but apparently it's for another customer else so I was like well can you just give it to me since I'm here and I have the money and I'm willing to buy it right now 
<laughs> and he's like, hmm, well, have you purchased with us before? And I was like, yeah. So he looked up my purchase history and saw that I had bought like so many. And I had just bought a blue cabin when I was in LA for my birthday because I needed a suitcase to like take care of, you know, birthday purchases that I had made to get them home. And I didn't even want the blue, but they didn't have the lilac. It came out like right after. So I just bought a blue. I mean, I have so many, you know? So he was like, let me see what I can do. So he basically was like, yeah, you purchased more than this other customer. You're a better customer. So we're going to sell it to you now. So they do have that kind of luxury, you know, Chanel, Hermes kind of hierarchy for their clientele, which I did not know. So that's something to note is the more you spend with them, the better they're going to treat you. And, you know, the, of course, they're sales associates. So it's similar to when you're shopping for like a Chanel bag. Like if a new color comes out, I do, I am tempted to get the rose gold that just came out in the aluminum. It's like, can't get it either, but maybe I can now that I have, now that I have this knowledge. <laughs> so anyway, um, if I do get that, I'll update you all on how I like it or the damage situation that happens with that if it gets dented and sharp points like I had been told about. The other thing to note about the aluminum styles is that they have these like clips or clasps that you have to use. And unlike the zipper, which you can kind of subtly like force together a little bit at a time, they start to kind of move around and readjust and everything kind of shifts and then you can close them. With the clips on the aluminum, you really have to be able to close your bag to be able to fasten it. So it's a little bit trickier. But um, yeah, now that I know that, it, that, like, you know, your client advisor or sales associate, whatever you want to call them, can hold things for you, text you when they get new stock in of highly desirable colors. And that's just something to note because I actually, I know that a lot of people hate that. They think oh, if I have money, I should just be able to spend it. But it's got, it's like a double-edged sword. It's like you want to have the perks of when you shop a lot to be rewarded, but then you don't want, you know, to not get what you want because someone else is spending more than you. So I personally do kind of like it because I like to know that if I'm spending a lot of money with a company that they appreciate that and they're gonna give me, you know, my due respect in return. The other thing to note about Remova is that they are highly customizable. So you can actually change the color of the wheels, of the handle strap, not on the polycarbonate ones that I get, but the classic aluminum ones. They have like a leather padded strap and, or handle rather. And you can change that to match with the wheels or to contrast or whatever. They don't have like every color, but they have a bunch of colors and the luggage tag too. You can uh, get that all to match or just do like kind of a pop art thing, which I think is cool. They also have some of the best collaborations. They've collaborated with Dior, Supreme, Fendi. I mean, these are high end luxury brands. I don't really know that much about Supreme because obviously I'm not like into like streetwear stuff, but I know that it's a expensive luxury brand. So, they're just, in my opinion, the best. I will continue to purchase from them. And I think that the positives far outweigh the negatives. Here's a little hack. I know they're not really supposed to do it, but they will do it if you smile nicely and kind of insist. <laughs> so I like to do my luggage tag on both sides so that if it's flipped over, you can still see the monogram. And I usually do silver on one side and gold on the other. I just tend to mix my metals and I like that I can match whatever handbag I'm using that day by flipping it to the other side and then yeah, it's there. <laughs> so that's just a me thing, but if you want to do it, you absolutely can. They might initially say they're not supposed to do that, but like I said, if you just smile and ask nicely and just kindly insist that they do because you've had it done before and you know that they can, then they will, <laughs> at least in my experience. So as you can see, I love Remova. I will never buy another brand again. I am going to try out the 
rose gold aluminum if I can get my hands on it. So wish me luck. And I do also have another video with my travel tips, packing hacks and things like that. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out. We'll link it in the cards right now. And if you're not already, please subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful at all. Don't forget to ring the notification bell if you subscribe or when you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads and leave any questions down below. I will link my favorite of the bags down in the description box, this dress if it's still available and all of that stuff. And don't forget to find me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm very active there and I would love to have you. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.